Hi guys, this is my review on Maker Epoxy Clear Crystal Artist Resin. To start, I already have part A in my cup. Um, as you can see, it was kind of thick. I had put it by my heater um, to try to thin it up, but I think I should have kept it there a little longer. I'm now adding part B, which is the second part. It is a one-to-one -one part ratio. Um, I did one part of the part A, and then I'm doing the exact same amount for part B. I'm doing it all in the same cup. Um, which you can do because it has some measurements on the side. Once I have it to the correct um, amounts for both parts, I now am stirring with my metal stirrer. Um, you can use a wooden popsicle stick as well. I, I personally don't like using the wood popsicle stick. I use a metal stirrer when I'm mixing my epoxy. I find that it helps um, with the bubbles. I use it so I can also scrape the sides of the cup. I scrape the bottoms of the cup while I'm stirring. And like I said, it just helps keep the, bu the bubbles at a minimum. Now that I've been stirring the epoxy for about three to five minutes, per the instructions for the maker epoxy, they say once you've mixed the epoxy in one container, then take another totally different container and pour the epoxy into it. This will help eliminate any spots on the tumbler from unmixed epoxy. I don't normally do this myself when I'm making my tumblers, but I wanted to follow the directions exactly as shown on the bottle since this is my first time using it. So once I put it into a totally different container, I mix it again, making sure to scrape the sides and the bottoms also. As you can see, there were a lot of bubbles. Um, I was really worried at this point. Um, I was thinking I probably should have warmed it up a little bit more, but I decided just to press on ahead and put it on the cup. This is a wood grain that I started with. Um, if you don't know how to do a wood grain tumbler, there's a lots of tuto tutorials on YouTube. Um, just search wood grain tutorial and they'll all start popping up. So when I started adding the epoxy, you can see all the bubbles that are in there. But as soon as I started spreading it around on the cup using my glove finger, the bubbles miraculously disappeared. I don't know where they went, <laughs> but they totally just went away just by using my finger on the cup. It was amazing. So that helps me realize that even though you may, if you get some bubbles in your epoxy in the cup, they virtually disappear once you start adding it to your tumbler. Once I've added the epoxy to the cup, I then took my torch and I went over the cup again with my torch just to get rid of any bubbles that could still be on the cup. I couldn't see any, I couldn't even see any micro bubbles, but just in case, I went over it really well with my kitchen torch, back and forth, really quick. I don't stay in one place too long because then you can burn your epoxy and you really don't want that. the cup as it's been spinning it's been spinning for about an hour at this point and look at this finish you guys I don't see any bubbles it's like glass I was amazed at the finish it is absolutely beautiful I loved it I was looking really hard I like to look to see if there's any bubbles left in the epoxy the clearer your epoxy the clearer the finish and I couldn't find any it is now day two. I'm gonna be doing the second step of this shipwreck tumbler. On this time, I warmed up part A a little longer at my heater, so there was a lot fewer bubbles the second time around. I was trying to show you, but you couldn't really see it in the cup, but there were a lot less bubbles. So if you warm up part A a little longer, the clearer your epoxy will be when you stir it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my coat and then I'm gonna start adding my inks for the shipwreck tumbler. And if you don't know what the shipwreck tumbler is, there's lots of tutorials for it on YouTube. There's ones for the wood grain, for the wood grain part, and then also for the inked part for the shipwreck portion.
finish adding my second coat of epoxy, I'm just scraping out as much as I can out of the cup. I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to go over um, this layer really well just to get rid of any bubbles, just to smooth it out really well. As always, I move really fast over the epoxy. I don't stay in one place too long. I go back and forth really, really quick so I don't burn my epoxy. Now I'm gonna start adding my inks. I use pinata inks, I think that was Baja Blue. And then I also use pinata white. This is Tim Holtz Aquamarine. And then it was Tim Holtz Indigo. As it's turning, I just dropped the inks on. I started with um, the pinata inks first, then I went to the Tim Holtz inks, and then I added the white also as I was going along. I then take my heat gun. Well, at first I started with my heat gun to try to blow the inks around on the cup, but if you've never seen my workstation before, <laughs> I have a lot of glitter laying around. So when I use my heat gun, the glitter kind of flew up onto the cup. So <laughs> I immediately had to stop using my heat gun and I got my kitchen torch and I started using that instead. Um, you'll also start to see me trying to get some of the glitter that blew up off my workspace onto the tumbler. If you just noticed, the cup was turning one way and then I made it reverse to go the opposite way. I do that to get my ink to swirl. This epoxy worked amazing for the inks and getting them to move and to swirl around. That was me just then using my X-Acto knife to get some of the glitter specks that blew up off my workspace onto the cup when I used my heat gun. So lesson learned. I'm just gonna use my torch from now on. So I'm using my torch right now just to get the inks to move and to swirl. And throughout the video, you'll notice me moving the waves around to where I want them to be. I'll be changing the way the cup is spinning from one direction to another. And I do that just to make the inks swirl around and really get that nice oceany wavy look.
a coat of epoxy on the tumbler after I added the decals. As you can see, that finish is crystal clear. It is absolutely gorgeous. It worked really well with the inks. It worked really well with the printable vinyl that I used on the cup. It was a dream to work with. This epoxy has UV inhibitors, which will help prevent yellowing. It's food safe. There's no VOCs, it's low odor, but as always, please wear your personal protection equipment, respirators, always use gloves. Be sure to have a, a well-ventilated area, but as epoxies goes, this was a great one. If you'd like to try Maker Epoxy, there's going to be a 15% off discount code in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Bye guys.